any day now. Why wait for tomorrow? What you can do today, Nick. If you're worried about me, do not worry about me. I can go all night. Right? Right. Good luck, everybody. Alright, we're going to do a half case of this. Listen, far be it from me to pressure you, Nicholas. You do what you want, man. You do what you want. This is your world. Don't let nobody else tell you otherwise. Live your best life, dog. Let's open this up. I'm just going to go ahead and open everything at once. I'm surprised. No, uh, no messages on the on the bay. They were enjoying the hot. I mean, listen, Nicholas, not for nothing, man. But there were some. That was pretty decent, dude. I want to say more than half the autographs were numbered. So it was, it was very nice, man. Saquon came out. Bradley Chubb. And Mayfield. Not bad, dude. Not bad at all. Makes you think what's in the other half of the case, you know? It's probably just as equally as fire, if not more so. Well, the 505 Tebow came out of the box I gave you, Nicholas. That came from a different case. But yeah, the 101 Dion came out of the case that, uh, well, half of the case that you bought. Yo, Tomas, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to eat after here, bro. Oh, Nicholas, dude, you don't got to thank me, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you for buying into the breaks, man. Otherwise, you know, all those hits would have been there sitting waiting for somebody else. I'd rather it goes out to one of my boys. Honestly, Tomas, man, you know, what? The only the only options I have available to me right now are straight fast food joints, man, and I'm trying not to do that shit no more, man. I'm trying to get my life together, dog. But, with that being said, <laughs> I'm more than likely going to get, like, a fucking, like, uh, what, what is that? Like a sausage McGriddle or some shit? I don't know. Yeah, same here, Tomas. 
that's kind of that's kind of the deal I've been getting. I get two sausage McMuffins for four bucks, and then I get like a sweet tea and a and like a small fry or a hash brown. Boom. I told you that I, I, I did that one of these nights, but it, it was the it was the sausage burrito, and I put uh, half the hash brown in there, bro. That shit was fire. Um, but then, then there's also Taco Bell. That's at my disposal. I could probably hit that up. Yeah, I got, I got decisions to make. I got decisions to make. Bro, that's that's all I... That's you, yo, that's what I be getting. I be getting that $5 box. And that shit is clutch, bro. But you know what's funny? They tried me one of these nights. Like, I want to say it was like this weekend. I went to go get one of those $5 boxes. You know, munchies. So I went to go get him, right? And I, I was I was I was in line for like a good fifteen minutes, cause everybody and their mama I guess had the munchies and decided to go get Taco Bell. But whatever. So I finally get my shit, and it, it's the five dollar craving box. So you're supposed to get a drink, the cinnamon twist, a taco, uh, a you know the the gordita crunch or whatever, and then like a burrito too. I got the burrito, I got the gordita crunch. She didn't give me. The, she didn't give me like the regular taco she instead gave me like two chalupas but she didn't give me the cinnamon twists so I was debating whether I should be upset but then I thought about it and I was like well you know what I kind of just I kind of got off a little bit here I kind of I kind of came up just a tad with the two gordita crunches so I was just like I, was, I just took that as a sign of the from the gods, and I was like, "All right, fuck it, I'll just keep it moving." Cause part, you know, by the time I got to the crib, and I was, you know, I was going through my shit, you know, cause I have a habit of not going through my food when I'm, I, I don't know, like I just, I feel like unnecessary pressure to keep the line moving when I should be checking my food when I'm right there. But whatever. But yeah, the chalupas were supreme. And they were, bro, they were like fresh, freshly made. So they, bro, they had that crunch to them. And they were just delicious. Because nothing's worse than, you know, eating Taco Bell after it's, you know, gotten cold. You gotta eat that shit, like, as soon as it comes out the window. So I just, you know, I took the L. Because I was looking forward to the cinnamon twist. I ain't even gonna lie. But the fact that I had two gorditas... A burrito and a drink for $5? I'll take it. Bro, I remember one time I went to a fucking... Uh, I went to a Checkers, which you guys probably know as Rallies. It's another fast food joint, you know, burgers and shit. So I went there again, munchies. This was years ago. And I'm by myself. And I forget what I ordered, but I know if I know for a fact that I had got like apple pies and I ordered like a milkshake. Right? So I go to the drive-thru or whatever. And you know, I pay for my shit. And then she's like, she's like, you ordered. You ordered two apple pies, right? And I was like, yeah. Because it's like two for one, two for two for a dollar, apple pies. Homegirl gave me four apple pies. I guess she thought I meant like two orders of it. She didn't even bother to read the receipt. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'll take it, right? So I doubled up on my apple pies that night. But I, or I had ordered a strawberry milkshake. I ordered one. Homegirl made two. She hands me one, and then she goes to hand me the other one, and I'm like, and then I'm like, what are you doing? I only, I didn't say, what are you doing? I just said, oh, I only, I only order, uh, you know, she's like, she's going to hand me the second one, and I'm trying to think about what I said. I was like, oh, I already got one, thank you. She's like, you know, and she's like, oh, well, 
I'm just gonna throw this away, so do you want it? I was like, fuck yeah! She starts laughing. Because that was like the nicest thing that's ever happened to me. So I made out like a king on that one. I ended up leaving with two large fucking strawberry milkshakes and four apple pies and whatever else I ordered. Me needless to say, I am well on my way to diabetes. She probably did, Tomas. If she had been cute, I would have pulled my dick out, but she wasn't, so I kept it in. Although I will say, you give me free shit, and like you're you're well on your way to get it inside my pants. You know, I'm usually classy kind of guy. Nicholas, dude, I can tell you that night I ate. I ate all that shit, I smoked another one, and yes, I, I, I at the end of it, I did take, well, not a nap, I knocked the fuck out. And then I woke up and I had to, like, shit myself, so. That was not good. Do you guys have that on the West Coast? Y'all got checkers or rallies or whatever? You guys probably got all that other shit, like Carl's, Carl's Jr. and fucking... Y'all got Pollo Loco and shit. And fucking in and out When you guys have both checkers and rallies, that don't make no sense. You guys have checkers... Am I... What is MI? Michigan? I was going to say Massachusetts, but that's MA. I think. Used to be called rallies. Yeah, rallies. Checkers, same shit. Damn, y'all guys. Well, five guys. Yeah, we got five guys. Y'all got In and Out and Jack in the Box and Carl Jr.? What the fuck, California? Five Guys is fire, man. Those... The, the fries? What? They use, like, peanut oil or something for the fries? Bro, those fries be fire. I don't really fuck with the Cajun fries, though. Like, they got these Cajun fries. I don't, I'm not really a fan of them. Dude, I don't know shit about Jack in the Box, dog. I ain't never... I ain't never seen... The only Jack in the Box I know is, you know, the actual Jack in the Box. Like, you know, the fucking toy or whatever. Anyway... Um, it's getting late in the night, so my jokes get worse and worse. Uh, never been to Jack in the Box, so I don't know. I don't know shit about Jack in the Box. What you know about Publix, dog? What you know about those Publix subs, bro? Wow, my listings download. Oh, dude, Chick Fil A is the shit. Chick Fil A, baby. Well, they don't have Jack in the Box nowhere near here. I'd, I would, I'd probably have to get out of the state of Florida to find a, a, a Jack in the Box. We have crystals, though. That's what we got. And Chick-fil-A is the shit. Everybody calls it Chick-fil-A. I call it Chick-fil-A. Because I'm different. I'm different. I'm different. Oh, dude. Chick-fil-A got like the most bomb breakfast. Just sucks they don't they don't work on Sundays. I know it's because, you know, they're like a, a, a Christian or whatever deal. So they don't work Sundays. But oddly enough, that would probably be their most popping day. Funny enough, that would be their most popping day, Sunday.
Which is cool. I mean, you feel me? Like, Sunday, like, okay, respect. But, like, Sunday, though? They should take Monday off, if anything. You know, nobody wants to work on a Monday. Then again, if I owned the business, that shit would be 24-7. 366. We working every day, Christmas included. Ain't no days off. Well, I kind of am doing that already. Like, we don't take any days off here at Rip City either. Like, the only time we have off would be like Christmas, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year's Day. That's that's it. Three three days out the whole year we that we don't go live. Oh shit! Can I still claim that? I mean, technically it's Wednesday. I did have that five dollar ticket, dog. That T-Mobile Tuesdays, bro. I wonder if I can still. I can get a free coffee, twenty-five percent off that JBL bullshit or whatever. Let me claim that ticket though. I gotta redeem it. I gotta redeem it by the 16th. Oh, I got that. Tell me about it, Nicholas. I don't know. I've been I've been doing breaks like CBJ style. I know Jason likes to just open up all the packs at once and then go through the cards. I've been kind of I've been stealing his swag a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. All right, here we go. We literally opened everything. Now we just gotta go through them. Good luck, peeps. Here we go. So, what do we have? We got Russell Westbrook for the Thunder. That's number to 199. I think so too, Tomas, like slightly faster. That and you know it doesn't I don't have to like pause and keep going and pause and keep going. Like once I pop, the fun don't stop. Nicholas Batum to 49 for the Hornets. Need a big time autograph. Four out of ten. Frank Mason the third. The autograph for the Kings. There you go. Kings getting an auto. What else? Got a numbered card here to one ninety nine. Brooke Lopez, Lakers. Tim Hardaway Jr., the Knicks. That's the 175. I was going to say, at Nick, are you going to pull the trigger on the other half? The Young Waiters Heat to 175. Nothing there. Box two. Need a big time auto. John Collins of the Hawks. That's number 299. Good card. What else? What else? What else? All right, Nicholas, don't threaten me with a good time. Joel Embiid, Sixers, to one seventy-five. 
Nice. Jason Tatum. To 189 Celtics. Would be even nicer if it had an ink on it. There's the ink, though, for the Magic. Jonathan Isaac on card auto. Raider rookies are so nice. Just a shame it's an auto per box, man. Man, that dude giving me a run for my money with the afro. Justice Winslow of the Heat to 199. Isaac 101 sold for 550. Not bad. Lasted five minutes on eBay. Wow. CJ McCollum for the Blazers, number to 189. Imagine what a what a 101 Donovan Mitchell would go for. Nice. There you go, Tomas. See, it's I, I do nice things for nice people. Brandon Paul autograph for the Spurs. Oh shit, Nicholas. There you go. You think he's gonna do it, Tomas? Chris Dunn of the Bulls to ninety nine. I don't know if he's gonna do it or not. He's probably trolling me. To 39, Emmanuel Moutier, the velocity insert. <laughs> I, I think so too, Tom. I don't think he is. What else? The Pacers, Paul George, to, uh, to 49. It does go to the Pacers. All right. What else? What else? We got Josh Jackson of the Suns, number to one seventy five. Alright, that was the third box. Three more to go. Each stack represents a box. Dean Dahl. Damian Lillard. Blazers to 199. For the Thunder, Russell Westbrook. Number to 175. And Anobia the Raptors. Number to 175. All right. Where's the auto? Darren Collison Pacers. Number to 189. Redemption time. See who that is at the end. What else we got in the box though? Oh, so you're going to do this to me now? We're just going to throw in cards. Upside down. What do we have here? Mm -mm -mm. It's a little dirty. Larry Nance Jr. Lakers. It's a 99. 
There we go, Tomas. That's what it's about, baby. Redemption could be a big one. Nice. Kuzma. Rated rookie signature for the Lakers, Kyle Kuzma. That is nice. That is nice. That's I'm telling you, Tomas, we got a we've uh, we've hired a few people to the shipping squad. You know, got some issues here and there, but you know, we're we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I want to get to the point, man, where you know the eBay stuff and the store stuff just get shipped out like the next day. You know, that's that's a big part. Uh, of this and, and I think you guys would really appreciate that you know faster shipping times for the store and for eBay uh, George Hill Kings velocity to 79 a redemption could be another big one we'll save it for last for the Warriors Kevin Durant to 175 You think so? I think so too, Tomas. KD for the Warriors to 199. What do we have here? We got Marcus Sol, Grizzlies. To 175. 5 out of 10. Eric Bledsoe. Gold. That's nice. Gonna top load that ASAP. Wesley Wundu of the Magic Red, number to 99. All right, let's see what the redemption is. Mm. For the Celtics, rated rookie, hollow, Gershon Yabuselli. Going to the Celtics. Yeah, I was hoping for that Donovan, man. Celtics with a hit, though. And now the last box, Mojo. Good luck, everybody. Wow. Nicholas actually... Wow. All right, Nicholas. I see you, dog. I see you, Nicholas. Oh, boy. All right. All right. Derek Rose of the Cavs. To 189. Tomas, believe it. Believe it. Rudy Gobert, the Jazz. To 99. I don't blame him, dude, because that other half of the case is probably just as loaded. And if it is, my man just made made money no problem just now. Easy investment. Easy investment. What else we got here? For the Hornets, Dwayne Bacon, the rated rookie autograph. Right there. Boom. Nicholas, I see you, dog. I already see what you did, bro. Now, my question is, do you want me to do that now, or do you want me to do that, like, tomorrow or something? Darren Collison of the Pacers, number to 175. Completely up to you, Nicholas. It's already, You already bought it. So if you want, I'll ship you the boxes unopened. If you want, I'll rip it for you tonight. I'll rip it for you tomorrow. I'll rip it for you a week from now. Whatever you want, you let me know, Nick. Jeff T. Timberwolves to 99. 
And that's it for the break. So let's recap the hits. We did get a gold, not autographed, unfortunately. Eric Bledsoe, Bucks, numbered 5 out of 10. Autos were Dwayne Bacon Hornets, Redemption for the Celtics, Rated Rookie Signature Hollow, Gershon Yabuselli, Redemption for the Lakers, Rated Rookie Signature Kyle Kuzma, big card. Brandon Paul Spurs, Jonathan Isaac Magic, and Frank Mason the Third Gold Auto for the Kings. Not a problem, Nicholas. Come on now. And that was the break, you guys. 2017-18 Optic Basketball Half Case Number 5. eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.